Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with the Mauler team, 21-31. So let's go ahead and get into our summons. We'll go ahead and use all of our elite soul stones first. Hopefully we can pull some Maulers, which we get a copy of Brutus, very nice. Even though we haven't built him, he's a hero that we're actually gonna probably build in the future. He is situational, especially with his immunity. If you're fighting huge burst teams, he can really live through the initial burst because he goes immune. Plus, he does have a pretty good um, life leech ability, so survivability is there. We have 45 scrolls here, so let's make sure that we have the team we want. Verk, Warwick, definitely. Scrag, yes. Scrath, we would still love to build. Um, Kasos, in the future, like I said, th there's a couple heroes that we do want to build. Scrag, we can actually buy in the shop, so we replace him with Brutus. Let's go ahead, and we got an Elite right off the bat, which we know it's going to be a Mauler. A copy of Warwick, very nice. I believe I am still one copy shy of being able to get him to Ascended, and with him being our off tank to Scrag, we need to get him up. So here we have a second Mauler. A copy of Verk. If you remember the last video, we did get him up to Ascended. He is doing a ton of damage. So I think this one, we should be able to get his level up quite a bit. Not sure if we'll pull it off. And we got a ton of emblems there, which is awesome. We'll go ahead and do our companion point summons. And another elite. We are getting some good luck on this account today. A copy of Lorzen. Not too bad. For the faction tower, we are always going to need heroes for the faction tower. And some more blue fodder there. Looks like not even a mauler. And some more blue, but we did get some some allers. We do still always need quite a bit of fodder. And another elite there. Hopefully it's a it's a mauler. Copy of Kasos, very nice. He's in the same boat with Brutus. Um, except Kasos we can buy from the shop. Scrag we can buy from the shop. That's why we did use a couple copies to get up the team we have. Go ahead and continue the summons. We do have one card on the table, which just a couple more rares there. So let's see who we get. I'm hoping it's a copy of Warwick. He is who we need. But it is Sophia. We will go ahead and take Sophia. That might give us enough to get a one star of Sophia. I, I believe. We do have quite a few rares, which is good. That's what we've been kind of looking for. So here we'll be able to get Savius up. At least a copy of him. Two Elite Plus, which would be nice. And again, just kind of kind of building more fodder. Last one I'm kind of saving because I don't know what rare I'm going to get. But look, we have one copy of everything. So that really doesn't help very much. I, I almost have one copy of every mauler when you look there, which is kind of crazy. And the reason I'm not building the Savius and Golis, which I can get one to elite, um, is I don't know who I'm going to get first. If I pull Golas first, I can build him into Elite Plus. If I pull Savius first, I can pull him into Elite Plus. Um, I, I just have to wait at this point to see what cards I get. So let's go ahead and we'll level up the heroes we got. I'm not sure we have enough for her staff. So it is still stuck at 28. Continuing to push Scrag's signature item. Scrag's one of the heroes that only go to... It goes to plus 30. Plus 20 is where you want his signature item. And then focusing on other heroes... Um, because of his abilities, the plus 30 signature item is not the best, but plus 20 it is good. And we'll go ahead and we'll level up Verk here, which look at that. I'm almost 35,000 uh, attack right on there, or 3,500 attack. So very nice to get him up. So going to be huge, huge in the damage aspect of it. In Warwick, we just have to honestly get up. If you look, he's at 4,500 defense. Sophia's at almost 10,000. So she's doubled up on the defense as a caster. So let's go ahead and collect up our dailies here. Um, that way we get our faction scroll. So we may be able to switch some gear here. Did give us enough for another summons. We we're only the, the scroll short. Okay, some more rare. Not too bad. Got another copy of Savius in there. Not sure if we have anything at the barracks. Nope, nothing at the barracks yet. 
All right, so looking at our team, we are ready. 220, 220, 220, and 200, and Warwick. Warwick is the one we need. Like I said, looking here, we need one more copy to get him, well, we need an, a Legendary Plus to get him to Mythic Plus, and then we need one more copy, essentially, to get him to Ascended. So, pretty soon. Now, once we have him Ascended, we only have the same copies. So, 21-31, let's go ahead and push the campaign. See how Verk does with his... uh supercharged damage here and I'm actually dropping Sophia in the front um it, it's tough because like I said she has double what works um defenses and way way more hit points being 40 levels ahead of him and Veden is always very tough but we did get that one down 21-32, so this is actually a boss stage. And there we just got absolutely destroyed. Wow. And again, that, that's why we really need to get Warwick up quite a bit higher. Um, we're we're going to have to swap him to the front. Hopefully he can hold the line for just, and see, he just goes down in two seconds. Where even in this case, Brutus would pop his immunity, so he'd stay up for at least a couple more seconds. Um, th that's where Warwick, we have to get Warwick up higher to, to build his survivability a little bit. As well as his signature item getting it up. But we got it done. 21-32. So we've already seen one defeat. And again, when you look at the Warwick here, so he's ascended 241. Um, anytime that I fight him, I, I'm assuming it's just the level or, or whatever, but look at him. He is just an absolute monster to try to kill. It's so, so difficult to kill him. I can't wait till I have him built, and hopefully he performs the exact same. Seems like once he gets all three of his bears up, um, it just absolutely destroys. Because even looking at him at the bottom... So he's blocking damage there because he's shielded. Block, block, block. Blocking damage there. He's got all three of his bears. Physical immune. And then finally we get him down. Usually anytime I fight Warwick, he is the very last hero that I kill um, because of his abilities. And again, here's Warwick, 242. Takes out some quick totems there. And that was just awesome. Anytime that Sophia can put her static field on Scrag and he just marches through the line, it literally just runs people over and kills them. Because static field does a ton of damage and Sophia is on such a high level with the signature item. So 21-36, we're still pushing through. Which once we get to this stage, I mean, we're, we're in chapter 21. We're going into chapter 22. Um... The battles get a lot, lot tougher. And on most of my accounts now, I even need um, hero essence. So it's kind of a, kind of a built-in stopping point with hero essence. And I am short on hero essence to get other heroes up, as well as fodder to continue to push the campaign stages. But 21-37, I'm fighting some wilders here. So we do have the factional advantage, which is good. So we're doing 25% more damage. And again, Scrag. If you guys aren't using Scrag, he is just absolutely phenomenal with his stun um, that he does from his attack and Iron Jaw coming in for his stun, as well as just the ability to push the entire team in the back and negate some of the CC. So it's, it, it's kind of crazy. And here he just runs over some totems going backwards. And again, with the static field on him, he could just bulldoze right over people. So 21-39. So we are almost done with Chapter 21 at this point for the Mauler team. And look at Verk's ability. His Mania ability, that, that ultimate, just absolutely destroys how fast and how long he uses his ultimate ability it's still amazing to me. People who have said they have his SI30, he outdamages pretty much everybody. 
just because of his ability to take down the entire team. And I do love he has his own energy regeneration. As you can see, he's getting 40 energy back there, um, depending on the number of targets that it hits. And if there's just one target like that, he stays right on that one single target, which is crazy. So everybody was up. Let's take a look at the damage here. So 3.15, 2.5. So he is just behind Sophia for damage, even though she's got two more stars. Very, very cool. So he, he does a ton of damage. So 21-40 is done. And here a full Greyborn team, but they do have Arden, which is going to be difficult. Nemitsu went down in two seconds with Savannah there. But it looks like Warwick stayed up. Hopefully we can get the DPS on Shamira quick enough. Very nice. Shamira's ult goes off. If, if she's left unchecked, um, she'll just absolutely decimate the team. And I'm also thinking at this point to build Kasos, just because when you look, so I have four heroes that ascended. Um, the four heroes don't need any more fodder, so eventually we're going to build, you know, all of the heroes for the Mauler team. It's just going to take time, kind of at this point. But they're coming. I'd love to see Skarath. I hear he is really, really good when you get him uh, leveled up and ascended. Haven't been able to pull any of his copies. Kasos I can do because I can buy. Makes a very, very big difference. Brutus might be another option. Um, just that way, the situational ability. And um, Kasos brings the life leech to the entire team, which is huge. Especially if you have heavy teams where... Ooh, that was a close one. Heavy teams where they're doing a ton of damage is the life leech combined with Nemesis totems can make a big difference of the survivability of the team, as well as provide kind of an off tank, sim similar to Warwick. But see, War Warwick goes down in two or three hits. But then again, <clears throat> like I said, fighting, fighting Warwick, as you can see, he's super strong. Let's look at the damage on that one. So three million there, a million and a million each. Which brings us to 21-45. So we are almost through chapter 21. And there's the static field on Scrag, so hopefully you can push through. Like I said, look, look how fast and look at Verk just being able to hit multi-targets at the exact same time for an extended amount of time, which Again, that, that's what produces his absolute crazy damage. As well as the, po the poison vial he throws um, has a slowing effect. Wow. This one's going to be close because Golas is still up, but we got it. And I know Lilith has been looking at rare heroes that possibly looking to adding more skills and ascending. Um... I personally think that they're going to go ahead and take everyone's opinion, um, probably take one hero from each faction, I would assume, um, and be able to get them to Ascended. So whether it's Nauru, whether it's Golas, um, whether it's Movis, d depending who it is for the factions, I, I think that's probably what they're planning. Which makes it really easy because you already have the hero there and the hero is already built. You just have to add the other skill to him. And that is our second defeat. We got destroyed here in 21-48. Warwick stayed up a little bit there. But I don't think we're going to have enough to get it down. Scrag died pretty quick. Alright, so that will do it for the Mauler team for today. Uh, so we are on 21-48, almost completed with Chapter 21. We'll go ahead and we'll collect up all of our loot, collecting some more diamonds for our next summoning session when we run the Mauler team. And since we pushed a lot of campaign stages, we'll go ahead and collect our loot. I did my little trick, whatever you want to call it. So we collect it. There's our Mythic gear. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And always, thank you for watching.